हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज आर लास्ट सेशन ऑफ लेसन नंबर इलेवन सुनीता इन स्पेस वी हैव लर्न अबाउट स्पेस इन डिटेल ओके सो वॉट एवर आई हैव गिवन द नोट्स प्लीज राइट डाउन इन योर नोटबुक दैट we don't have notes in textbook again and again i am saying while uh, checking the papers i have observed that you have not written the notes that given by me and that's why i am saying that whatever notes i have given please only refer that notes okay okay so now write down aim and the keywords of the session so in this session we are going to learn in detail about the moon so write down that to learn in detail about the moon then write the keywords that are natural satellite rotation phases craters and constellations now take screenshot first then write down aim and keywords in your notebook properly in good handwriting and in proper spellings okay so look at the picture of the night sky is it night sky yes so what do you see in this picture yes this many stars are there some stars are bright some are dull then moon and clouds so do these objects in the sky look the same every day every day the stars position is same the clouds are same the shape of the moon is same no means there are some changes if we look at the night sky with the help of telescope do you know what is this telescope okay to see the night sky properly we are using one instrument it is known as telescope if you are doing the study of space that is astronomy in that the telescope is used normally okay so when we see with the telescope we can see many patterns of stars and these patterns are known as constellations see patterns means what some stars uh, means single single stars are there then some stars in a group like your groups are there in classroom okay like that some groups are there then some stars are in a line some stars in a zigzag pattern then some stars in a triangle some in square so like that the shapes are there or the patterns are there so that patterns are known as constellations okay so write down the definition of constellation the patterns of the stars that we have observed in the night sky okay in night sky one another object we are observing what is that yes a uh, the moon and in this session we are going to learn in detail about the moon so see the moon is the most prominent object in the night sky prominent object means what see the moon has fascinated the man since centuries as it is the brightest and most beautiful object visible in the night sky correct it is the brightest and beautiful object the moon is the natural satellite of the earth natural satellite of the earth means what moon is moving around the earth and moon is our closest neighbor in space means uh, normally from the earth the distance is i think 3 lakh uh, 84400 km yes the distance from the earth okay the distance between the earth and the moon is 3 lakh 84400 km so see how much distance is there okay see we can see the sun and the moon both are in a same shape but it is not like that okay the sun is far 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 larger than the moon okay so moon is almost 1/4 the size of the earth 1/4 do you know 1/4 okay draw one circle 
then draw the two lines in that circle now color one part of that so whole circle means your earth and the small part is your moon so see how much bigger our earth is and how much bigger the sun is okay understood the distance from earth 384400 km write down that okay i am not giving all these things in detail means in notes only i will explain and you have to write that i am giving and you are just copy as it is so write down the distance from the earth means the moon and the earth distance is around 384400 km and it is about 1/4 the size of the earth okay yes and the moon when ju just moving around the earth so it cover 1 km in 1 second imagine 1 km in 1 second so that is the average speed of the moon around the earth write down uh, all these things okay so this is some moon facts now we will learn about the surface of the moon so its surface is rocky and it has hardly any atmosphere means the moon is very dry and rocky place with no air no atmosphere and no water okay so on the surface of the moon we can see the many holes and that holes are known as craters okay that we will see here see the surface of the moon has many deep holes which are known as craters and these craters were formed when the meteoroids or the asteroids have you heard the meteoroid and asteroids see the asteroids means uh, the stones the heavy stones are there that moving in a space okay so these craters were formed when that meteoroids asteroids smash into its surface at high speed okay means the blast is there and because there are some small holes not only small holes the flat areas are also there and the rocky mountains are also there now it looks very small but not like that okay so flat areas are also there which are known as seas or maria and the rocky mountains are also there which are known as highlands okay so it is about the surface of the moon now the main point is there that is phases of the moon now phases of the moon means what we have uh, observed that there are different shapes of the moon in night sky maybe you have observed that if you are interested daily observe the night sky okay you will see the changes in the shape of the moon so that are the phases of the moon so as it orbits the earth orbits the earth means what as the moon is moving around the earth it appears to be getting bigger for some days and smaller for some days bigger means the word is known as waxing okay means the size increases the moon shape increases and smaller means what the waning so there are five phases of the moon that is new moon crescent moon quarter moon gibbous moon and half moon okay so see the phases of the moon moon don't have its own light do you know that okay moon don't have its own light it reflect the light which get from the sun okay the sunlight the reflection of sunlight so all these phases of the moon is because of the position of the earth moon and the sun okay moon is moving around the earth and earth is moving around the sun correct so because of this we can see different shapes of the moon so we will start with 
फुल मून फुल मून मीन्स वॉट वी कैन सी होल मून एक्चुअली वी कैनॉट सी द होल मून एज इट रोटेट्स अराउंड द अर्थ एंड सिंस इट रोटेट्स एंड द स्पीन्स एट द सेम रेट इट ऑलवेज कीप्स द सेम फेस टूवर्ड्स द अर्थ मीन सी द स्पीयर लाइक स्ट्रक्चर इज देअ ओके स्पीयर मीन्स टेक अ बॉल राइट द ए एट वन साइड एंड अपोजिट बी साइड बट ऑलवेज वी कैन सी ओनली ए साइड ऑफ द मून बिकॉज ऑफ द मूवमेंट ऑफ द मून अंडरस्टर्ड मीन्स वी कैनॉट सी द बी बी साइड द अपोजिट साइड See, start with the full moon, then the waning, waning gibbous. Now you have to learn waning gibbous means what? Only this shape. So yeah, this shape we can see. Okay, this. Okay, only this shape we can see. So that is waning gibbous. Waning means smaller in size. Okay, you can see. Here. See the white part here and see the white part here. Vaning means what now? Smaller in size. See again. See the gibbous, then quarter, and the crescent. Crescent means again here the small. See this, this, and this means they are smaller in size day by day. So that are vaning. Okay, gibbous means three fourth part we can see here, half part we can see, and here only one fourth part we can see. So when three fourth part is known as gibbous, half part that is quarter, and this kind of shape is there which is known as crescent. And why they are vaning, vaning, and vaning? Because they are getting smaller in size. And new moon means what? New moon means what? That is darkness. Okay, we cannot see the moon. Okay. Some days are there that in that day in night sky we cannot see that moon. So that moon is known as new moon. And when we see the whole moon, that is your full moon. Again, after some days, that started to grow. Means started to bigger in size. So that is your waxing, waxing, and waxing. Okay. See the crescent. First crescent, but that is opposite. Ah, see here, left side here, right side. now that is growing that is quarter again it is growing that is gibbous and again the full so that cycle is going on every month so it is about the phases of the moon understood okay uh, actually notes are not given and the phases of moon is actually the detail part but still i have given the basic information about the phases of the moon in higher classes in social studies you will learn the phases of the moon in detail okay so just learn the basic part that i have given draw this diagram the phases of the moon in your notebook and write down your own points okay with my session and send the images compulsory because i am taking or keeping the record okay yes and who is this already i have mentioned the name okay neil armstrong so neil armstrong on july 20 1969 neil armstrong walk on the moon so his historical first steps on the moon will last for centuries why we already we have discussed about surface of the moon Okay, no air, no atmosphere, no water. So how the surface will change? So that steps on the moon will last for centuries because there is no atmosphere on the moon. See, if you uh, went on the moon and if you shouted, no one would be able to hear you on the moon because there is no air. So these are some amazing facts about the moon about the Neil Armstrong steps. Okay, so see the Neil Armstrong. Okay, so here we have completed our lesson that is Sunita in space. I hope that you have enjoy this lesson as we have learned about the space, about galaxy, about sky. Okay, so write down the notes properly. 
read the notes again and again see if still we have completed the lesson in only three session but this lesson is little bit hard to understand and to remember okay so read the notes again and again still stay home stay safe and thank you